Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So at this current moment, I'm trying to knock in a couple of videos before um, Amber has dinner prepped. She wanted to make some spaghetti today and I haven't had that in quite some time so I was like, you know what, why not? She does it a bit differently apparently so I'm actually looking forward to that. How much we eat? Well that's, that's the big question there. Anyway, I digress. There's been quite a bit going on recently. And I've been, been throwing up, down, all around. With circumstances. But apparently the biggest thing that has been going on recently... Are stress-induced headaches. This happens to everyone. Happens to me. Happens to you guys, I'm betting. And has recently been happening to Amber. And it's been happening frequently to us, and because of stress to the point where I'm like, you know what, this is something I haven't talked about yet, it's on my mind, might as well. So welcome to the video. Um, as you can tell, I'm very optimistic. There's no headache, there's no migraine, there's no nothing. There's probably nothing up here. <laughs> but here's the thing. These headaches, stress-induced headaches, come, I've noticed, this is observant me, come from extreme amounts of stress to the point where so much pressure is going to your head, when you're getting so much compression in your head, to the point where it's like, you cannot handle it. Whenever I see somebody go through this, whether it's Amber, me, or a friend of mine, regardless of who the friend might be, or even a family member of mine, whether my parents, my brother, my sister, uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents, whoever it might be, if I were to ever see somebody go through this kind of stress, my brain immediately goes to, what can I do to help? The closer the person to me, the more likely I am to actually confront the situation. The faster I will be there to go, okay, what can I do? Okay. Please do this, it will help. You know, that kind of aspect. And I don't like seeing others in pain. This is kind of the core concept here. When people go through stress-induced migraines, I end up feeling the headache or migraine, depending on how bad it is. Thank heavens it's never been concussion lengths. But it hurts. I've always been the kind of person to induce somebody else's pain to the point where if somebody's feeling a certain amount of pain I will feel that same degree once I try to get connected to what's going on I'm not gonna put out any kind of example because the only examples I can think of are very personal and very private to the individuals who they're examples of but let's put it this way I know, I've known in my past a lot of people who have gone through a lot to the point where I would sometimes go home with headaches and people wonder how I got them. I'd be like, don't worry about it. It'll subside soon. And it does because I'm not around the person and I feel like I've done what I can to take off as much weight off their shoulders as possible. But that doesn't mean the weight's just gone. And it's saddening to me. It really is. I do not like that aspect at all. I do what I can. I do. But, you know what? That's really all I can do. And... The worst situations that I have helped people with are stress-induced migraines. I'm always happy to be there for it, and I will induce that. I will retract that from the person. But I can say, even from personal experience, these kind of headaches suck. I've gotten stressed to a point of migraines before, to the point where I actually have Advil. Well, it's not Advil, but it's headache relief. Brand being covered for the sake of, well, the reason is obvious by now. But actually, this is kind of, it was an empty bottle, but it has a mix of Advil and different headache reliefs in it. I can only take the Advil. The headache relief is actually for Amber. But anyway, 
that's how bad things have been getting recently. Then they have been getting for me as well. I it's off and on for me, and it's not like consistent like it has been for pretty much everybody else that I've been there for. Mainly because that's why it happens. Because I'm always there for them, and I try to retract it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. When it does work, I definitely end up needing Advil. Luckily for me, the Advil actually works. It doesn't for everyone, but it does for me. Headache. Stress-induced headaches. Take a lot of stress. And you, I can, I've noticed, from my own personal experience, that it seems to come from... The reason I see pressure to the head because every time before it happens, it always feels like somebody's like pushing against the sides of my head. It doesn't feel good, but it is still the case nonetheless. It's saddening, but it is the case. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hopefully it's just me. But this, these are my thoughts on this kind of matter. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with anything I've said? Can you confirm or deny anything that I've said? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I do discussion rants about me, skits, live stuff. I do one live video every day alongside a gaming video, which you guys, if you're interested in comedic gaming stuff, you'll see an episode of Devil May Cry two hours from now. Um, either way around though, thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Uh, check out the channel if you want to check out any other kind of stuff I've done, if it's not the stuff that's up next to my head. In the meantime though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.